Been extremely impressed with what I've seen from JT Daniels thus far. This particular play stood out to me just for the fact that I saw him throw an interception on this exact play in a previous tilt. What I like about this is, first of all, let's look at his mechanics. All right, we see him staring it down the entire way. He knows where he wants to go with this cover two. It's a cover two beater with these vertical routes right there. But if you look at him, nice crossover steps right there. Good spacing. Point and shoot foot is really good. He gets real good hip rotation right here. Doesn't throw a perfect spiral, but the ball is still cutting through the wind right there. So maybe that's something to look look to in the future there. But the hip rotation and the velocity is absolutely perfect. As for the concept itself, we go right here. What makes this difficult is if you got these vertical routes right here, you're going to have help over the top, but you're going to have your man, uh, the field corner right here. He's going to work some action right here, but he's also going to sink back himself. So you have a very small window to throw this bad boy if you don't want to get your guy absolutely lit up or if you don't want to throw an interception as well. So if you see right there, man clears, velocity on the throw, hits some just in time where he can protect himself or the corner can't get a good direct shot on him. So really good stuff right there. All right, we joined this one already in progress. You see a back to the basket play action fake. I love when quarterbacks have to actually do stuff that I will see them do on Sundays. So you see him showing it and taking it away right there. People don't realize, man, turning your back to the defense and then having to uh, recite um, is something good. But look what the play action does, man. Look at your man number 47 right here. He gets sucked up hard. You know what I mean? Now everybody's turning and scrambling. Their heads cut off. But check this out. This is a corner corner route to Valis Jones. So we get to, I love this angle right here because you really get to see him, uh, how he throws and the mechanics of it. All right, let's check this right there. I noticed that about him. He has a kind of a Drew Brees factor on it where he likes to put the air on there likes to put air under his passes a lot see that over top over the top delivery right there definitely very kind of drew breezes not saying he's drew breeze a little bit different kind of a quarterback than that or maybe not i, I don't know but I, I love it right there you see the point and shoot foot point to the target nice and sturdy right there and I always wondered about how cats like to do their throws, but you see him right here. He puts the air up under that bad boy. Hard for your man to even really get to it there. Uh, some cats will take the air out of it and kind of lead Valus Jones. Probably, I would say, more towards the sideline. Maybe over here somewhere. And it's definitely a throw that they can't get through, get to. But hey, what, what can you say, man? The pass is completed. I love it. Really good stuff right there. Back shoulder fade here was so great that I just had to get on this bad boy. Front facing play action out of the shotgun. Here's where putting air under the ball actually really helps him right here. Check this bad boy out, man. It's almost like a rocker step. He can't even really step into this or nothing because you got a guy coming in his face jumping. But man, he short arms it and puts it to where my man, the cornerback, the field cornerback had no chance at this bad boy, especially in a man coverage like that. Oh my God, this is some perfect stuff. Just look at the placement of that. Crazy. There's no defense for something that great. Here's another vertical route that he works right here to perfection. Front facing play action, staring it down right there. But check this out. He, he doesn't necessarily drive the ball on this one. He doesn't step out the way I would want to. The, the spacing is not as good as I think, but I think he just understands his body and how to put the necessary air under the pass because what can you say about this? This is perfect. There's no defense for this. Absolutely perfect strike right by the pylon. And your man just put air under it and allowed the guy to run under under it. His guy, Amon Ross St. Brown something special brewing with this kid i'm telling you right now both of these kids quick last one right here another fade uh cover two split see him right there hip rotation over the top delivery 
this one right here almost looks like a 50 50 ball but the way he puts air under it and allows tyler vons to go get it you see right there <laughs> tyler vons is not the tallest receiver we've ever seen like if this is a michael pittman or somebody who always has a uh, height advantage that's going to be indefensible as well some people just don't understand how to throw 50-50 uh, balls or jump balls, but he's splitting cover two with this bad boy. Gives the man a chance to win, which he does. Comes in bounds. Hell of a throw. But man, I'm going to have a lot more on JT Daniels and the rest of the offense, rest of the team in general. But get over to USC247.com. Make sure you check out some of these film studies and check out the podcast that we got. A whole lot of stuff going on at USC247.com. All right, your boy Murph Baldwin, and I am out.